NHL jerseys. It is a very big topic on my channel, and I think a lot of you can agree with me. I think a lot of you actually come from where I make NHL jerseys. And it, yeah, okay, sure. One of those things with the NHL jerseys is that I make them, I make them for fun, and I, 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 I I'm, it's for fun, right? It's, it's something to draw some content, draw some viewership, draw some subscribers, just draw some, con like draw uh, engagement to my channel. And through the shorts videos, that's how it works. Now, don't worry, those aren't going away anytime soon. I've been very busy. I've been streaming, trying to stream a lot more. I've been work busy, school busy. I'm trying my best. Uh, sometimes I just don't have time to make them. Um, but some new news came. What is with my hair today? Some new news came out of the NHL today, er, way way earlier today, and I just got on it now. I'm a little late to the party just because I've been again busy all day, work, a little bit of school, tell a girlfriend for a little bit. After the 2022-2020, no, 2023-2024 season, the NHL's partnership with Adidas and their jersey manufacturing is coming to an end. Just announced today by every sports news center ever, NHL signs a 10-year deal with Fanatics. Fanatic sports, right? You know, the guys who make the cheaper NHL jerseys and the cheaper MLB jerseys and the cheaper NFL jerseys and the cheaper CFL jerseys and the cheaper NBA jerseys. Yeah, those guys. Those guys. Now, I have two jerseys here. I have two jerseys here. Two from two completely different eras. I have, I have a Fanatics Mitch Marner Toronto Maple Leafs jersey from I, don't know, I got it a couple years ago at Christmas again if you want to make sure it's phonetics this is down at the bottom uh, it says in the little collar here and it doesn't have Adidas on the back the other, team, the other jersey I have is old old jersey an old Toronto Maple Leafs Toronto fan if you can tell by everything on my wall old Toronto Maple Leafs CCM jersey no name on the back right nothing it's not nothing special it was my dad's he gave it to me right one of the main problems i have with the phonetics jerseys is they're, they're a little bit cheaper quality like you know when you get a hockey jersey you know that style the, the feel to it you know there's the holes in it that's one of the things that comes to my mind hockey jerseys is like the holes in the jersey the uh air the the ventilation holes i think they are one of the main things that come to me when i think of hockey jersey I don't know what an Adidas jersey is like. I don't have one. If you can't tell, I don't have that money to spend on one. The, all I've seen from the stores is that they're really good quality. The pro, the pro jerseys are really, really good quality. Fanatics jersey. I don't know. They're definitely on the lower end of the jerseys. Now this jersey, this jersey is a CCM jersey. This would be like ones that players would wear. I don't know what it was like when this jersey came out, maybe late 90s, early 2000s. I'm uh, I'm gonna go with 2000, I'm gonna just say early 2000s. Someone, if you know in the comments, or maybe me when I am editing this, put it in the description, or put it in the comments, or put it in the video. This is good quality. The stretches, this doesn't rip, it's, everything is sewn on, it's embroidered. No name on the back, but it's fine. When it comes to the recent jersey, Fanatics, this is the Toronto Maple Leafs, isn't embroidered, you have the NHL patch which was brought back, it's embroidered, I'll give it that, but it's just, there's nothing to it, it's nothing like that. There seems to be a huge gap where the Adidas logo used to be, and you couldn't put uh, Fanatics anywhere on it. Gonna put the little F on the back, which would be fine. The numbers are like this weird shiny material. It's for having for it being my only leaf jersey that I will consistently wear, it's fine. It's fine. But if it comes to where this is what they're wearing on the ice, this quality, they're not gonna last. They're not gonna go well. And with a 10-year, 10-year deal, I don't expect I don't expect a lot of teams. Like, I don't expect it, the quality to suck for more than maybe two years. 
So of course they're going, they know what they're supposed to do. They're going into it, but they don't, like they're making them on ice. They're gonna make them quality. They're gonna make everything sewn perfectly. With this, I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, who knows? It could be really good. It could be really bad. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I can say this, I hope they just stick with the Adidas jerseys, like the style, the, I don't care about the dots, and the top, it's weird, just stick with what it is, stick with the fitting, stick with how it looks, don't change it up, don't be some stupid, like, where the logo's not embroidered, and it makes it look like a, it makes it look like a cheap knockoff, if the jerseys come out, and Unless they do a major, major rebrand with every NHL team, which I do not think will happen at all. It might be interesting. And I know with Adidas, they came into the league at a time where the Leafs were rebranding. Uh, who else was there? The Vegas Golden Knights were coming in. You have a bunch of, bunch of guys. Or you have that rebranded within under the Adidas brand. You had a um, huge rebrand in Ottawa. Um, I'm trying to think of other teams that rebranded within Adidas. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Why can't I not think of any off the top of my head? Edmonton went from their beautiful royal jerseys to those weird navy and weird orange jerseys that I didn't like. I like the, the all navy with the orange, the orange highlights. Those were nice, but I didn't like the orange base. It, 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 they're interesting. They gave Nashville a little redesign. I remember that. I don't remember any. Minnesota, I think. There was a couple, couple teams that had a really pretty big redesign. And with the Leafs and kind of the, the original teams and the teams that just were Sound like the Penguins? They're not gonna do a rebrand. Detroit? Definitely not gonna do a rebrand. If they touch the teams that haven't changed their jerseys since they came into the league, um, Detroit, uh, Montreal, who else? I don't know. Who else? Who else really hasn't changed their jersey? Uh, the Flyers? If they kind of change those original teams, they make them worse. Jersey sales are gonna drop. I'm sorry, but who knows? Let's hope. A guy who loves jerseys and a guy who follows jersey changes and all this and pays attention to the little bit of details on uniforms. The guy who pointed out the, that the Leafs switched from a black helmet strap to a white helmet strap the last couple of years. Hopefully, this turns out well hopefully but thank you for watching let me know your opinions in the comments if you're new consider subscribing if you're into jerseys if you don't know who fanatics are look them up see how see what you think about them if you have a jersey let me know your opinion on it just give me some opinions i want i want somebody i want some opinions in the comments and uh yeah so thank you for watching subscribe like comment Join my Discord server. I'm hopefully gonna make a rebrand of the Discord server, add some new things, different things. We'll see. Uh, and maybe I'll add just a jersey slot where you guys can send in your favorite jersey. So Discord server in the description, Twitch, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, TikTok, all that description. Check that out. Let me know your opinion. And uh, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, when in doubt, Tandy out.